everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and even though Cobra Month is over, I thought it might be fun to take a quick look at one more Cobra figure. Uh, this is one that I recently acquired, and it's quite interesting. Uh, this is the 1993 Mail Away Create a Cobra, alternately known as Name Your Own Cobra. It was available only through a Mail Away offer, and only in 1993. The offer did not carry over to 1994. This is a really interesting crazy looking figure I mean you can tell just by looking at it uh, it is made up entirely of reused parts and reused accessories um, it has the head of the Crimson Guard Immortal and the body of Targat, the Iron Grenadier figure. But as you can see, the colors were changed rather wildly uh, to give them this really crazy color scheme. When you sent away for this figure, you could customize his file card, similar to the 1987 Steel Brigade figure. Uh, when you filled out the form, uh, you could uh, make certain selections, and the file card that you received would be customized based on your selections. Um, that was similar to Steel Brigade, um, and like Steel Brigade, it wasn't exactly a real file card. It was more of a computer printed sheet. Unlike the Steel Brigade, this was not a fan insert figure. Uh, you weren't basically making yourself a Cobra. Uh, I think they recognized that it would be a problem to have children uh, wanting to make themselves the bad guys, you know, make yourself a terrorist kind of thing. Uh, so they didn't do that. Instead, uh, this was just an opportunity to name a Cobra, to give the Cobra whatever code name you wanted. There is nothing new here, entirely reused parts and reused accessories. It came with the rifle, the same rifle that came with 1987 Battle Force 2000 Dodger. And um, based on the information I received, it is a reissue of the same rifle. Uh, I don't think there's any difference at all, at least none that I can tell. Uh, it is the thin handle variant of that rifle, uh, but it's just the same thing. Uh, it also came with a figure stand. Uh, just a generic figure stand, and uh, it did come with something that was a little bit unusual. It came with a sticker sheet of just Cobra emblems, uh, just a plain sticker sheet. Um, they didn't fit on the figure at all. I guess you could just stick these on anything you wanted. Timmer from the YouTube show Half the Battle did an excellent review of this figure. I'm not quite ready to review it yet, but I thought you might like a quick look at it. Just a reminder, I will not have a new review video this weekend. I'm taking the weekend off after all of the work of Cobra Convergence. I need a little bit of a break, but I will be back next weekend with a full review. And in the meantime, I'll probably have some other types of videos for you, uh, not full reviews, but some other things for you to watch in the meantime. Uh, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at the 1993 Create a Cobra. I will see you soon with a full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. Thanks for watching.